I would think if I make these two inches long, that's going to be long enough. We now have the 14 pieces needed for the seven pillow blocks. And do you remember that first little piece that we had to cut off? And I thought it would be, you know, either too short or too long. Well, it turns out it's almost exactly the same as all the rest. I find that an interesting coincidence. Well, I have double checked my measurements now just to make sure. And uh, anyway, here's the first line. This was the zero. We'll get these spaced so that the bearing will be on the center line. And I think probably the easiest way for me to do that will be to put on the lower, the lower uh, part of the pillow block and then have a spacer, which will be one of these bearings, or two of them I guess, and then glue the second one on in the right spot. Anyway, you'll see. So. I'm calling this the lower. When this thing rotates and is upside down, it will be the upper one. Now I don't need very much here. experience with this pinner is that if it's going to blow out, it blows out either this way or this way, never to the front or the back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold it like this. It may have moved a little bit this way on me, but not very much. Oh no, that's pretty close. Now you'll remember I was saying that one bearing had it going to have its own special pillow block. Well, this is going to be it. And I'm just going to sort of eyeball it here. I think maybe I'll make it just a little bit more this way of that mark I made. I don't think I got that mark too centered, but sometimes my eyeball is off. Now I can just see where the point was beginning to come through the other side here. So it should be safe to come in very carefully with the brad point from this side.
probably put too much on again. pretty good. I can see right down through the hole where that line is, so. Alright, here we go. Whoops, it moved a little bit. Maybe I can shove it over. Okay, I'll hold it and put one in from this side. Don't go texting me and saying my thumb was too close to the pin. Okay, that should be all right. Okay, just let this glue dry really good now. And I'll get the other halves on. One thing I notice about this Gorilla Glue, it kind of dries clear. It's a little bit different from the tight bond. I kind of ran out ran out of tight bond, otherwise I'd probably be using it because that's what I'm used to. You know what, I think I'm going to take a damp rag and get rid of this excess here. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.